With the latest Virginia Beach Fire Department news updates, here's Master Firefighter Stu Sayer. Hello, I'm Master Firefighter Stuart Sayer and welcome to this latest edition of VBFD News Updates. A brief disclaimer before we go on, we are experiencing some renovations here at the Training Center, so we may get some noise bleeding through on my microphone, and for that we apologize. The 2013 Air Medical Transport Conference, or AMTC, was held from October 21st through October 23rd at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. The conference is specifically designed to provide leadership, education information, to cultivate friendships, and to supply up-to-the-minute information on the latest techniques and innovative approaches to emergency medical transport practice from the experts in the field. The conference offered 150 plus education sessions covering topics in a variety of disciplines including safety, core clinical, specialty clinical, management, aviation, research, and communications. The air medical transport units were on display each day during the three-day conference. On Saturday, October 26th, the Virginia Beach Fire Department, in conjunction with the Great Neck Farm Fresh, hosted the Fall Public Safety Day event. A special thanks to the members from Ladder 8B, Nightingale, and Mr. Brad Sauer from the Virginia Beach Volunteer Rescue Squad, who participated in the event and made it a success. We would like to give a special thanks to the City of Virginia Beach Multimedia Services who played a key role in providing the members of the fire service and the public the ability to see this year's National Fallen Firefighters Memorial Ceremony. The live broadcast was available for viewing on VBTV Cox Channel 46 on Sunday, October 6th. We would especially like to thank Mr. Matt Cernigliaro, Mr. Robert Shanks, and Mr. Jeff Barnaby for their collective efforts in making this broadcast medium available for the event. For anyone who may have missed it, the program will be aired again on VBTV Channel 46 and Verizon Channel 45 for the next few weeks. Be sure to check the VBTV airing schedule at the website on your screen. And now, a review of some of our recent working incidents. On Saturday, October 12th, around 23.30, Engine 23 was dispatched to a single-family residential structure fire in the 5600 block of Hearth Circle in the Cedar Hill section of the city. Upon arrival, heavy smoke could be seen pushing from the roof and sea side of the structure, and a working fire was declared. Crews advanced an inch and three-quarter hand line to attack and knock down the fire. The fire was contained to the kitchen area with moderate smoke damage throughout the structure. Squad 10's crew completed a primary search, while the crew from Ladder 9 controlled the utilities, vented the structure, and checked the attic. Engine 19's crew handled water supply and overhaul along with Engine 9. It was determined that the fire was started accidentally by cooking oil on the stovetop. No injuries to civilians or fire personnel were reported. The cause of the fire is under investigation. On Sunday, October 13th, around 2355, Engine 10 responded to a vehicle fire in the 600 block of Military Highway. While the first unit was en route, additional reports said that at least three vehicles were fully engulfed. The first unit upgraded the response for an additional units to be dispatched. Engine 10 pulled an inch and three quarter hand line and began attacking the main bulk of fire. Once a quick knockdown was obtained, Engine 10 moved to the outside to contain the fire to these vehicles. Engine 23 arrived on scene and assisted Engine 10 in gaining a water supply from a private hydrant. At the same time, Engine 23 took an additional hand line and moved to the other side of the vehicles to contain the fire. Crews utilized the onboard foam system on Engine 10 to isolate and extinguish the fire. Ladder 9 also arrived and assisted with manpower and lighting of the scene. The fire was successfully extinguished by personnel and kept from extending to further vehicles. Overhaul of the vehicles was then completed. A total of seven vehicles were damaged or destroyed. There were no civilian or fire personnel injuries. The cause of the fire is under investigation by the FMO. On Thursday, October 17th, around 11.45, Engine 21 was dispatched to a commercial fire at the Golden Corral restaurant at the 2100 block of Upton Drive. Upon arrival, crews found a one-story restaurant with smoke showing from the rear of the building. The structure was completely evacuated of customers and staff. Smoke was coming from the kitchen area, and burned spots with light smoke on the outside siding could also be seen. 
Engine 21 pulled a hose line, opened up the siding where the smoke and burn spots were, and found flames coming from the area around the transformer to the dishwasher sanitizer outlet. The fire was contained to a small area of an interior kitchen wall and was quickly extinguished. Engine 21 and Ladder 21 crews began overhaul and ventilation inside of the structure. There were no firefighter or civilian injuries reported. On Friday, October 25th, around 0200, Engine 9 arrived on scene of a commercial structure fire in the 500 block of Newtown Road. Crews deployed an engine three-quarter hand line and began attacking the fire from the outside. After the fire was knocked down, Engine 9's crew went interior to completely extinguish the fire. There was no fire extension into neighboring suites. However, there was minor smoke damage. No civilian or firefighter injuries were reported. The cause of the fire is under investigation. On Saturday, October 26, around 1355, Engine 4 responded to a residential fire in the 5500 block of Aragon Drive, located in the Diamond Springs section of the city. Upon arrival, there was heavy smoke showing from the home. Crews proceeded to pull a pre-connected hand line and made entry through the front door. Heat conditions rapidly increased and crews exited the structure for an exterior attack. After the fire was knocked down, crews re-entered the residence to extinguish the fire, which had started in the dryer in the laundry room of the home. The structure was heavily damaged. One firefighter was transported to an area hospital with minor injuries, and a police officer was treated for smoke inhalation at the scene and released. All occupants safely exited the home. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. On Monday, October 28th, around 0235, Engine 18 responded to a residential house fire in the 3000 block of Glastonbury Drive in Lanstown Lakes. The fire was determined to be accidental. The house next door had suffered some siding damage from the heat of the fire. No civilian or firefighter injuries were reported. That wraps up this latest edition of VBFD News Updates. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out online, and until next time, stay safe.